Namaste, yogis and yoginis. Good day from this beautiful place in the middle of nowhere. Pretty much beautiful river. I hope you can hear me properly because it's quite loud. I've got loads of things flying around me. It's quite a magical place. So I hope you find it as magical as I do. And we're going to do something magical too. We're going to open our hips, which um, unfortunately, or fortunate, whatever it is, they store a lot of our emotional baggage. So it's good that sometimes we just let go, open the map and let go of those emotions. Sometimes people, even you know, when doing this hip openness, sometimes they feel really emotional, which is completely perfect. But in any case, we're gonna work internal external rotation. We're gonna make sure those hips have better mobility. Do not worry because we're all different. We have different bones, different structures, so maybe some of the exercises you think, oh my God, I can't open my legs so much, or I can twist internally or externally. It's okay, just do it to your own degree. I'm guiding you. Just go wherever your body asks you to go. Yeah, so let's start on our bellies. Well, on our bellies, with our belly up. We're gonna be, uh, well, actually, I'm gonna have to remove this. Legs bend. Just put one hand in your belly, one hand on your chest. Let's get some breathing here. Let's deepen our, bre our breath. Make sure your belly is floating so you get the feedback from your hand. So inhale. Raise your belly, exhale, your belly goes down. Inhale, air in, belly up, exhale, belly down, all the air out. If you feel like you've got too much pressure today, and you want to exhale through the mouth, do so. So you can go, inhale and exhale. If that helps for releasing, go and do it. couple more, we need to come down before we start. And the last one, oh, I'm gonna let it go, yes. From here, let's separate the legs about the width, the width of the mat. And we're gonna do windshield wipers. So we're gonna go right and left, try to touch the floor as far as you can. Try to go with your knees towards the floor. We're just warming up here a little bit, the hips. Doing a bit of motion. If you haven't walked today, you haven't moved today, this is gonna feel really good. And if you have, it's gonna feel really good because I've been walking for a long time and this actually feels very relieving. Okay, we're gonna do the same on your arms. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna get really dirty, but who cares? Okay, come up in your arms, all right, go right and left, try to go as far as possible, good, and now we're going to go on our hands, and we're going to do what we call the diamond pose, look at me, I'm so clean, diamond pose, we're going to put the soles of the feet together but we're not going to get them close to the groin we're going to get them actually far from the groin and we're going to put the hands below the legs and try to reach the feet the top of the foot in each case if you don't reach just go like this whatever you reach and try to spine erect spine straight and go down so slowly we're going to go down you don't have to touch anything you don't have to go with your forehead onto the floor or anything just bend and remember when you do the forward bends always the hinge is in your hips is not hunching the back this is not going to help us at all it is this okay so we're going to go slowly down 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 and breathe deeply there a little bit down every time you breathe out try to give it a little piece lower you know millimeter let's go and you probably feel it 
in the internal part of your hips. A little bit lower. Awesome. Then slowly release. Go up. I know, yes, I know you put V feet towards your groin. So this is the famous butterfly that we all know. So again, we can grab our feet or sometimes people prefer to just push the knees, whatever it works for you too. This is, oh yes, it is a big hip opener. Let me just face you. Maybe you can see me better like this. Forgive my, my hair. Uh, okay, so let's try to open as much as possible. You can bounce very slowly, very mindfully. Never go crazy. Some people are super flexible and you can actually stand on them and they're completely fine. It's not my case. It's probably not your case. So we're going to take it easy. So you can also push a little bit with your elbows if that feels good. But remember, it's not punching. Try to stay as straight as possible. There we go. Oh, I can feel it, especially on my right one. Wow. I hope you're feeling it too. Awesome. Keep going there. Yeah. Okay, let's breathe a little bit. And release. Breathe in. Push, 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 push. Breathe out. In a little bit more. Oh, no, 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 no. Good. Perfect. And now, let me remove this. We're going to open our legs again. It doesn't matter how wide they are. I'm just putting them here so I don't get super dirty. <laughs> Look at the flap around me. So, just do it. if you're like this, it's completely fine. If you're like this, great. You know, that means you're very flexible. This is my reach. Do your own way. From here, toes always looking up, because like this is a different exercise. So we're going to look up, and we're going to turn slightly towards the right, and try to go down as much as possible. You can be here, you can go down, you can go lower again. Again, keep breathing in, and every time you go out, try to push yourself towards the floor. Awesome. Once again, inhale, exhale, try to push, 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 push. Great, let's go to the other side. So, arms up, let's twist towards the left, and let's go down. Remember to keep the toes up. It's not like a ballerina style, but that's the way it has to go. So we can also extend the muscles on the back. Oh. And also, we, I don't know if you feel it, but I can also feel it on the lower back. So it's a great release for the lower back. Oh. Inhale, exhale, go down a little bit more. I'm grabbing my feet like there's no tomorrow. I'm really holding onto my foot now. Oh, I'm trying to push myself down a little bit without hurting myself. This is not a competition, not even with yourself. This is always remember is a yoga practice. So we're practicing, not competing. We don't have to achieve anything. Oh, oh I love the feeling here that it's really extending. And now we go out to the front. You're gonna get me very dirty here. But we're gonna go slow in here. Oh, a little bit. Try to keep these because mine always turn. Try to keep them like this. I think I'm not going to go lower in today. I'm a bit afraid here. <laughs> it's so fluffy, but it's so beautiful. <sighs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Mm. Let's try to go a bit further. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, go down a little bit, a little bit, just a tiny bit. One more, let's go and smile in the meantime. Go, 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 oh, my hips are opening. Okay, let's walk back slowly. <laughs> let's remove all this fluff and let's go towards the side. So now we're gonna go with the right hand 
towards the inner part of the left leg, raise the left hand and we're going to go sideways. So we're going to go towards the right in this case. Again, you don't have to reach here. You can ask, actually, if you prefer, go like this. Whatever feels better. I like doing like this because it forces me to go down a bit better. So if you reach your foot, just grab your, your toes. And we can go like this. Oh, oh, yes. It's this kind of torture that feels so good. You think I'm in pain. Well, I'm not actually in pain. I'm in a bit of discomfort. I mean, I would not be watching a movie like this. Mind you, could be. But it feels so good. I know my body's working. Okay, let's go up again. Oh. And now, left hand towards the inner thigh. Right hand goes up and let's go towards this side. Again, if you don't reach, you can always go like this. Just put your elbow on your knee or below your knee on the shin. Well, your knee is never a good idea. Here on your shin, or again, you can go like this. Grab your toes and look underneath your armpit because otherwise you're crouching again. So no, it's about the, the chest has to go upwards. Ah. Oh. And again, I feel this so nicely on my lower back. So we are ex we're extending so much in here and stretching a bit of everything, which is great. Ah, uh, yes. A little bit lower. I'm going to grab my foot, the sole. Yay. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Are we going to do... Uh, Standing pose, because I dare not rubbing myself or I get, I get all this, this is a bit crazy. We're going to go to Malasana, that's the yogi squat. I'm, I'm, I'm looking like a, an animal, just um, trying to, oh my goodness, look at this. Well, anyway, so Malasana is the yogi squat. So we're going to open the feet a little bit, let's say 45 degrees, we go down. Oh, I can't do malasana with a narrow stance. Remove pieces. And we're going to open with your elbows. We're going to push the knees outwards like this. If you think, oh, I can't do this, use a block, a pile of books, anything you have, you can put it underneath and you can lean on it. You don't have to just hang it like I am, hang it. If you can do it, great. But if you can't do it, just use props and feel good. The important thing is we open the hips here. So we're pushing with the elbows towards the, the, uh, the outside. And we're staying, again, upright. We're not crouching, we're not going like this. We're not really a frog. We're just doing a squat, um, an open squat, a yogi squat, malasana. And from here, we're gonna do a bit of movement. So we're gonna go up, inhale and exhale, down, inhale, up, exhale, down, inhale, up, and a squeeze, a squeeze your glutes when you go up, exhale, down, so then you have also some glute exercises there, squeeze, 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 and go down, let's do a couple more, inhale, up, exhale, down, Inhale up and exhale down. Awesome. From here, we're going to try something. Again, if you feel that you're great here and you've got your props there and you're more than comfortable to stay here. Otherwise, let's extend the right hand side towards the right. Left goes up. There's already also a lot. And if you can, just bring your hand back. And with the right hand, we're going to try to grab, have to move a little bit to adjust, and bind the, the hands behind you. This is uh, quite a stretch. You probably will feel it not only in the hips, but also in the chest. That's the idea. We're opening the chest here too, the shoulders. Breathe a little bit. Ah, oh, good. This is quite a stretch. Release. Go back to the same pose as before. And we're going to try with the other side. So extend right, sorry, left hand now 
towards the left, as far as you can go. Right hand goes up, right hand goes towards the back, you turn it, and then the left will grab the, the, the fingers behind. You see, for me, this, this side is easier for some reason. For you, it might be the opposite, but we always are even. You know, our sides are completely different. So sometimes you do one Paris one on one side and you're like, yeah, I nailed it. And then you go to the other side and think, oh, I can't do this. Or the other, the other way around, it doesn't matter. But we're not symmetrical. See, with this one, I feel so good. And I'm turning my chest upward. Again, extending the hips, the chest, the shoulders. We're pretty much stretching everything here. We go back, extend the right arm, left arm, center. Ooh, we're gonna go up again. Wow. Okay, now we're gonna go to the floor because I think we've already opened quite a bit. We're gonna do a last opening pose, which is beautiful. It's called Happy Baby for a reason. So we're going to grab our soles of feet from the outside or the toes, if you prefer it. Well, the toes, the big feet, yeah, the big toes. That's what I mean. So you can push towards the floor. That's one option. The other option is grabbing the feet from the outside. And another option is just pushing from behind your thighs, your calves, wherever you reach. I like the outside because it allows me to really bring the feet down a lot. And this is a beautiful hip opener. You can sway a little bit, you can move, whatever feels good. Ah, you can stretch one leg if you want and bring it back, stretch the other one and bring it back, stretch both and bring them back. You can play around or just stay here and keep opening your hips. Awesome. Oh. Bring your knees together, thighs towards your chest. Let's get a big inhale. Raise your hand towards your knees. Inhale, exhale. Ah, let go. Another one. Inhale, dip, 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 dip. Exhale. Release your head on the floor. Release your legs. Oh, I can feel my hips so much and rest in Shavasana. Oh, now I feel like I can walk another 10 kilometers. This is so good. And stay in Shavasana as long as you want. I'll let you enjoy that. And I'll say goodbye for now. And I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for being with me today in this fluffy little place. It's going to take me a while to clean all my, yeah, a little bit. But anyway, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Namaste.